Hey everyone and welcome along to this LBT class working on our legs, bums and tums. My name is Dave Cross and I'm the group exercise program manager and master trainer for Pure Gym. So as I just mentioned, we're going to hit the legs, bums and tums. So all muscles from here down essentially. We're going to spend a majority of the time on our feet, hitting some usual squat and lunge patterns and variations. And then toward the end of the workout, we're going to come down to the ground. So please make sure you've got access to something comfortable for you to either lie down on or kneel on, whether it be a mat, rug, towel, carpet, whatever, anything that's going to keep you comfortable. And just a little bit of space around you will be absolutely fine. Water bottle, a towel, you can grab some halfway through the workout. But other than that, as long as you're fit and well and ready to go, I think we should, shouldn't we? I'll crank up the music. Let's do it. Let's do it. 30 minutes, counting down. Squat. 2-2, two, two, smooth, down, down, up, and up. So, a good old-fashioned squat is taking your feet just slightly wider than your hips with a little turn out of the toes. That keeps you in line with the hips, knees, and ankles. And as you're feeling pretty fresh today, right? <laughs> you're going to take a really good knee bend whilst keeping your chest up tall. All right, do the same move, but a little slower. Three, one, down. Three, two, one, stand. Brace your abs. Keep your shoulders pinned to the back of the room. One more. Bring in some heat and some speed in. Single time, down, up. Now, you can't really do an LBT class without squats. <laughs> and I have to say it, we've got a good, a good amount of squats today. Now let's try something. Triple pulse down. Three, 
two, one, stand up. Now this is a bit of a taste of things to come. Yeah, remembering the number three. There's also some more numbers that I'll ask you to remember, but for now, just back to the singles. Again, nice and light, nice and comfortable, still just getting warm. Should we move to the lunges? Yeah, it's an alternating, staggered, backward stepping lunge. Left leg steps, back, down, up, and switch. So just taking one foot off the floor, a long, brave step back. That keeps your posture up tall. So you can keep your hands at your hips if you want. But try to check in with your range. So we're gonna try and prime the muscles loads by getting closer to the floor every time. Single, drop, go. Again, the shoulders are back to stay upright in your posture. Beautiful. Should we go back to the squats? Yeah, single, go. Just, that's it, right? You know that you're getting warm because every time you squat, you're hitting the quads. Calves are having a little play. The glutes are firing and your core is switching on. Going eight, seven. Now I'm gonna finish your warm up with some slower movements just to get a bit more glute activation and get the hamstrings playing along. Feet narrow, hip width, tip forwards. Down, down, up, up. This is a deadlift essentially, but a deadlift without weight apart from the weight that you're carrying on your shoulders. Three, one, slower. Three, two, one. Now as you tip forward, plant your weight in your heels so you can wiggle your toes. And then keep the back of the legs pretty long. Back to the two, two, smooth. Oh, should we start our trackers? Ah! <laughs> oh. You know, each morning I'm going to need a reminder from someone, a message before 10 o'clock to say, don't forget to put your tracker on, Dave. <laughs> Two more. Okay, is it safe to say we're warm now, yeah? I know I am. T-shirt's getting sticky. Rest. Okay, now we're into the juicy part. So we're going to start, like I said, a majority of this workout will be upstanding. So we're going to hit squats first. Different positions, different tempos, and of course, different ranges where we can hit great movement in a pulsing action. So I told you to remember the number three. There's also going to be the number seven lurking around somewhere too. But for now, let's just reintroduce ourselves to the squat. Take your feet a little wider than your hips and go down. Three, two, one, stand. Now as you're here, and now we are consciously sitting outside of the warm-up now. That means that our intention to move is better. Our ability wants to grow because we're gonna try and hit a deeper range and the contraction of the muscles needs to be deeper too. Super slow, down for four. Rise. Good, do that again. Shoulders back, chest high. Can we hit those singles? Nice and deep, please. And your mark, set, go. Now the difference here is when you stand, I'd love it if you can squeeze your thighs all the way up. From the bottom to the top, pull in your thighs, but keep your knees slightly soft at the top. Eight, seven. Oy. There you go, you've got a great contraction going on there in your thighs. The number, the first number I got you to remember. Triple pulse, down, go. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Now why a pulse? Because it helps deepen the intensity in the muscles by staying in that lower bottom pocket. Four more times. <sighs> Let the knees still push out and forwards in line with your toes. Okay, sorry, not sorry. That second number, seven, down, seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, rise. Repeat. Oh. <laughs> ah, twice more. This is just our first exercise. Three, two, one more time. And then we're gonna go for a quick flush. Full range squats, down up. Go. Oh, needed, needed. These are welcome, aren't they? Ah. Yes, yes. Last one, take a short recovery. Wow, wow, I hear you, I hear you. Now, keeping with the theme of a squat, we're now gonna go wider. Turn out your toes further because your feet are planted wider. Single, straight to them. Now, what are you feeling different in this squat? Because you've gone wider, the alignment is different, therefore the squeeze is different. So you might be feeling some more activity on the inner thighs, You'll definitely be feeling a bit more activity on the glutes, especially as you go from the bottom to the top. Four, three, two, triple pulse. And again, we change the foot position to change the focus and the stimulus to allow us to keep squatting. Hit the sevens, please go. I think I just put seven fingers up, I'm not sure. Three, two. Do that twice more. And that's exercise one <laughs> complete. Last time. Oh my goodness. Three, two, one. Good job. Recover. Get a little sip. And we are, wow, eight minutes into the session. <sighs> okay, so we're now gonna go from the squat to the lunges. Hopefully throughout the squats, you got some great work in the quads, some fantastic work in the glutes, but also because you're bracing, you're feeling some activity in your core as well. So the upper abdominals are biting a little bit, the deep core muscles and your mid and lower back. So helping that relieve slightly now, we're gonna hit the lunges. So for now, just like the warm up, it's an alternating lunge, watch. Step back, drop down, come up and switch, go. One, two, three, four. There you go. Now we'll spend a little bit of time here. But the beauty of this is that because we're alternating our legs, it's allowing a short rest for each leg. Now when you come forwards, keep some more weight in that front leg. Now, there you go, then switch. Checking your alignment. So the toes are turned out to allow the knee to be turned out so we know that the glutes are working. Two more. Beautiful. Now step the left leg back, two, two, down. One, two, one, stay. One, two, one, two. Smoothly does it. Still with a push forward of the front knee and a drop down with the back knee. Three, one. You probably know what's coming, don't you? You probably know what's coming. <laughs> yeah. Scream it at the screen. Three. Yeah, but for now, single. Go. Down, up. Now the lunge, try to drop down. So your body stays upright and it goes down and up in a straight line. Let's hit those triples, shall we? Mark, set, go. Three, two, one. Now the lunge might not be able to take as much work as the squats, so we're gonna try and get through this set quicker. Let's go straight to the sevens. Go. 
Stay down. Three, two, one. Do that again. Oh. Hips are square to the front. Push through your front heel. Rise twice more. Oh. One more time, please. Then I'm going to get you to switch legs and go straight to the 2 2 rhythm. Ready? Stand, switch, 2 2. Go. Oh. I always find it quite unfair for this leg because although the movement's kind of the same, we're changing legs, but there's still fatigue happening in that front thigh right now, isn't there? 3 1. Take your time on the way down, then drive up to stand. To the single time, singles. Yes. Yes, you can never get bored of lunges because you know how good they are for you. You know, don't you? You know. <laughs> ah, hit the triples, please. Down low, go. So good. So good. Oh, what are you saying? What are you saying? On the seven. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you got that. You got that. Yeah. You got that. Two more times on the seven. I think we need a short rest after this, don't we? Last one. <laughs> now, straight away, let's go to that double leg deadlift. Feet under the hips and just tip forward. Two and two. Why? Because I'm actually trying to get the quads to take a slight breather whilst the glutes and the hamstrings can keep playing. <sighs> just be really sure that you're upright with your posture and when you are as far forward as you can get, the hips are back, but you're still quite tall in your upper body. Three, one. Ah. Sit, ground your heels. Let's just do one more. Awesome. Hold there. Now, we've hit muscles that are gonna destabilize us if we're gonna try and hold our balance now. And that's the beauty of this programming is we're gonna try now to hit some single leg stuff. <laughs> he says. All right, so single leg training. We're gonna hit single leg squats and single leg deadlifts before we do some work on the floor. Because we are, yeah, well, we're almost halfway through the workout, aren't we? So let's set up well. Let's start with a single leg deadlift. Now, what we're gonna try here is rather than posting the foot back, is we're actually gonna reach forward and let the back leg lift high, keeping the leg straight. I'll show you first, watch. You'll tip forwards, then rise to reset. So as you fold, you're gonna keep the same line with your leg. So from head to heel, you're gonna try and be really long and strong. So let's set it well. Feet under the hips, body's upright and tall, abs are braced, chest is up and shoulders are back. Hands can come to hips. We are gonna move your left leg back first, so your left arm comes forward. Two, two. One, two, one, two. Out, out, in, in. You can feel wobbly, right? Good. That standing leg is taking a lot of pressure around the hips and the glutes. The knee starts to move around a little bit, as does the ankle, which is why we need to brace our abs really tight ah, to help control and stabilize. So hinging at the hips, hamstrings are playing now, aren't they? Same thing, everybody change legs. Go. You're gonna try and lift that leg almost as high as you can, but remembering that all we're doing is almost acting like a seesaw. And we're trying to keep the straight line from head to heel. If it helps you to keep the hands on the hips, 
you can of course do that. Changing legs yet again, please. Stay smooth. Just two more. <laughs> Change legs again. Dripping on the floor. I hope you're joining me with that. It's just a good sign, isn't it? One more time. Good. Other leg, one time. Switch. Sit hinge as far forward as your flexibility will allow it. Okay, let's take a short rest while I prep you for the next move. Our next move, still with a single leg attention, we're gonna hit some single leg squats with two different options. Option one will be where you just place that back leg. So it's gonna stay back if you can. So you'll be tall and upright, and the squat, rather than a deadlift, which was just tipping forwards, the squat, you will already be tipped forwards and you will try to literally squat and bend your front leg. If that's too challenging, which it very well may be, that back foot is just going to rest on the floor behind you, but you're going to keep your knees pretty much in line. And then you'll simply hit a squat, but trying to primarily focus on the front leg. So we'll get a bit of setup time here. If you're going to stay with that first option, the most intense option, Brace yourself hard. Your range might not be huge, but on the way down, you'll tap your back foot on the floor. You ready? No? Hey, we'll do it anyway. <laughs> Put your weight on the right leg. Left leg back in the air or tap it on the floor. Ready? Two, two, down. Go. Down, down, up, up. But notice my upper body is already and permanently hinged forwards. By doing that, gives your glutes no choice but to activate. <laughs> yeah, I just did that. One more. Step up, change legs. Can you see it dripping off my chin? Yeah, lovely that, isn't it? Ah, four more times. Can you keep your hips square? And your shoulders and your chest square to the front. Two more. Ah. Changing legs, changing rhythm. Single time, go. Four, three, oh, it's kicking in now. Change legs, ah. Seven, six, remember if you're still here, you're still trying to keep more weight in that front leg. Change legs again, please. Eight singles, eight, seven, six, five, you're almost there. You're soon ready to come down to the floor. Change legs, last set of singles. Ah, hopefully you're feeling this in your back body as well. Ah. Awesome, stop. Ah. Now there's one more movement that we need to go through, quick sip. One more movement before we hit the floor. So up till now, we've not really hit anything laterally to the side. We're not gonna have a huge focus with that right now, but what we are gonna do is welcome ourselves back to the sumo squat position. Feet are wide, wider than your shoulders, quite a lot wider than your shoulders. But as long as it's allowing you to hit a deep sumo squat. So you're gonna sink down and let your knees track out, but watch, you're gonna go straight to this. Down, slide, center, up, down, slide. Can you join me now? Quickly, go. The slide to the side 
So you stay low. You almost make an upside down T shape. A capital T at that. And as you slide to the side, the knee is naturally going to track out, but not too far over the toes. We're going to do eight more of those, then it's time to hit the floor. Chest up. Four more. Four more. Doing great. Doing great, I'm sure. Last one. Awesome. A little shake up. A little shake up. Good job. Take a sip. 30 second recovery. Maybe grab a towel. Do what you need to do. Oh. And then, time to hit the floor. Okay, so floor work from here, just for the last six or seven minutes or so. And that'll take us to our 30 minute limit. Well, it's not really a limit, is it? But it's a, it's a duration that I told you we were gonna be working at the start. So I can't really give you much longer than that. Now, we're gonna work some glutes, which are in turn also gonna help us activate our core. We're gonna hit some prone work, so on your front, and there'll be a little bit of work on your sides as well. Hope that sounds good. Let's give you some music back in. All right, so still with the theme of LBT, legs, bums, and tums, we're never really gonna switch off our midsection. So we're gonna come into a plank position. Now, as you lie down, plank position, hands are gonna be under your shoulders. Be really strong here, and again, by doing this, means that we're activating our core, we're keeping our workout really complete and well-rounded. So come straight to a plank now, on your toes. Bracing hard and pretty much squeezing everything that is in the title of this class. And if you didn't quite make that, that's legs, bums and tums. Squeeze those, squeeze all those. Hold here. For want of a better phrase, clench. Four, three, two. Now hold, touch the knees down, and then lower down to your forearms and elbows. Now, we're gonna try this. Let me give you a bit of space so you can see. In a hover position, we're gonna still stay braced. We're gonna try and lift the knees again into that holding position, but then one leg is going to bend. So the foot is flat toward the ceiling. We're gonna raise the heel to try and squeeze the glutes. But the best part of this movement is that actually the hips stay level. As the heel lifts, you might be tempted to twist slightly at the hips. Try to stay really square if you can. That means that we're gonna isolate the glutes loads. Whew. All right. Now I'm gonna give you a rough tempo for this. Doesn't mean you have to stick to it. So holding strong in the hover first. You can have one knee on the floor whilst the other leg's doing the work or come straight to your toes. Bending one leg, single time. We go seven, six, five, four. Keep the hips square. Touch down, change legs. Going seven, six. Remember the choice. That opposite knee can touch the ground because our attention really, and keep going, our attention really wants to be the glutes right now. Touch down, change legs, and do another seven. Raising the heel. Six. So the heel of the foot presses the ceiling up, but without extending the leg to twist at the hips. Touch down, change legs, and do another seven. Raise the heel. Five. Four. Switch, now go three, two, 
One, touch down. Change legs again. Three, two, before you fatigue, bend the knee. Switch, twice more. Ah. Switch, last one. Now how about this? Hold and come all the way down to the ground. <sighs> about a minute ago, you heard me say the word clinch. I meant that. <laughs> but here's what you're gonna do. Now almost imagine frog's legs. How do they look? The knees are out and the heels are gonna come together. For this part, to try and get the most out of the glutes, we're gonna allow the upper body to rest a little bit. Now, this movement requires two focuses. Focus one is to put the heels together and press them together. <laughs> try that now, just try it. Just literally press your feet together at the heels whilst the toes are turned out. You'll immediately notice some work, some contraction. So squeeze and everything around here gets a little firmer, right? So we're then going to squeeze together, permanently squeeze together, and then we're going to try and lift the heels off the floor, so up away from the floor. It's the thighs, sorry, that come off the floor. So arms come down, rest the chest a little bit, squeeze the heels together, and just raise the feet going up, down, up, down. My goodness. <laughs> well, I tested these out. I'm pretty sure they didn't feel this hard. <laughs> but the key to this move is the knees and the toes should be turned out. And then focus one, heels squeezing together. Focus two, heels towards ceiling. So the thighs get off the floor. Oh. <laughs> eight more, eight more, maybe. Oh, you beauty. Four, three. Two, and one. Stop, extend the legs. Now, <laughs> did you get that? <laughs> yeah, me too. Legs, bums, and tums. The word tums really refers to core. Now you'll hopefully notice that by doing what you've just done, it gets the lower back engaged as well. That's really crucial, because sometimes we can miss actually isolating that part of the body when we're exercising. So it's great to try and strengthen our lower back. So we're gonna do that once more. Oh, why once more? Why? Let's do it. Feet together, go. Eight, seven, six, four, three. <laughs> oh, you beauty. Well done. Stop there. <laughs> All right. Push up, up to the hands. Okay. Now, in this kneeling position, we're going to try now to take one leg back. And we're going to go over, crossing over, and then out wide. As soon as you can, let's do that now. We don't want to run out of time now, do we? Nah. So hands under shoulders. Hips are going to stay square to the floor. And the wider we go with that toe tap, the more range we're going to get in the glutes. Oh, oh I don't lose my music. <laughs> Two more. One more time. Reset the knee, comes back in. Change legs. Go over and out. So we're going to remember when we try to go wide, not too twisty, so that the hips rotate. We're going to stay strong here. Go for four more reps, please. Then we've got a few exercises on your back. Then we're done for the day. Ah. One more time. Awesome. Rest. Now, if you would, please, come onto your back. The last 60 seconds of work. Upper and lower abdominals, 
Let's hit some, uh, some crunches, shall we? Fingers to temples, two, two crunch. Reach, reset back down. Feet and knees lift as the arms reach past the thighs. Keep a 90 degree bend in the knees on the way up. And that just helps you fixate through the legs and it allows the lower abdominals to be under control. So you're trying to squeeze the ribs to the hips. Now go double time, single. In, out, in, out. All right, shall we? You remember the triple? Go, three, two, one. Three, two, one. All right, magic number seven. Yes, do it again. Don't forget to breathe. Roll the shoulder blades away from the floor. Three, two, twice more, then you're done. Uh, last one. Three, two, one. Time. Wow. How's that? That'll do. Will that do? Yes. Yes. Well, when I press my watch a little too late, it's now gone to 29 and a half minutes. So we'll count that. We'll count that. <laughs> All right, when you're ready, just come up onto your front. Little towel down. That is majority of our workout complete, but we should complete it really with a bit of a stretch. So hopefully you got through that workout in good time, followed all those new movements with me. And hey, if you didn't catch them the first time, you might not even catch them the second time, but repeating, giving you some practice, practice makes perfect. So take one leg forwards, a little stretch for the hip flexors. <sighs> Feel good? Me too. Quick switch. We'll make these stretches brief, but if ever you want to spend more time doing these same stretches but holding them for longer, you can please continue to do that. You're very welcome to do that. It's only going to help you stay mobile. Slowly come up to your feet. The quads, they've taken a real good pound in today, so pick up one foot, knees come together, hips push forwards. And again, if you want to hang on to those stretches for a bit longer, you can, but otherwise change legs. And don't forget these workouts and similar to these workouts, loads more titles for you on our Pure Gym app. So you've got access to all those, over 400 I think there is. Yeah, jump on, see if you can get into some more. Take one leg forwards, keep the front leg straight, hip sit back for a hamstring stretch. Change legs. All right, that's it from me today, guys. Thanks ever so much for joining me. Roll your shoulders. That is your LBT workout complete. Thanks ever so much yet again. We'll see you for the next one.